Hello everybody. Welcome to DC Time. I'm Dean. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us again. Um, we're going to pick up from, I wrote something down from last week's show that I was looking back on our show. By the way, I want, yeah, I want to say something. I'll go ahead and say it now. There was a comment a couple shows ago. Uh, Terry, if you're out there, uh, the comment disappeared. I tried to get back to you on that to uh, contact you. So if you want to reach out again, do that. And maybe we can uh, get together and email each other or, or whatever you got on your mind. So sorry, whatever happened. I don't know what happened to mm -hmm. the comment, but it, it's, it's gone. Um, all right, last week's show, Chris brought up a verse here. It was uh, the Second Corinthians uh, five fourteen. For the love of Christ is constraining us, judging this that if one died for the sake of all, consequently all died. I just looked back on that, and then it hit me about the verse in Romans. And I just want to point out quickly here um, what great news this is when if you see when you see some of these verses in a different light. All right, read this again. For the love of Christ constrain us, judging that if one died for the sake of all, consequently all died. All right, and listen what happens if we died together with Christ. Now, if we died together with Christ, or since we died together with Christ, it says all died, right? We believe we shall be living together with him also, mm -hmm. having perceived that Christ, being roused from among the dead, it's no longer dying. Death is ordained over him no longer. Um, verses all through Romans there yeah, and Corinthians. And yeah, if we become planned together in the likeness of his death, nevertheless, we shall be of the resurrection also. Mm -hmm. um, I heard those things all my life growing up. Somehow I got the message or we somehow thought that all these things, it was totally up to me, a human being, to somehow interject myself into this process. Mm -hmm. No longer see any of these verses like that. It's all a gift, it's all been done for us, and there's great news in it. Um, great news in all these verses, what's gonna happen. If we've died with Christ, we're gonna be raised with him. That's everyone, mm -hmm. everyone, and that, that's good news. So yeah. I just wanted to point that out it wasn't the context of our discussion last week, but yeah. when I look back at it, I, I liked looking at that. Well, I, and what's great about that to me is that, you know, what for whatever reason it pricked your consciousness, you looked at it, you went back throughout the week. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, how if you if you considered it throughout the week, but that's exactly what happened to me this week. Uh, when I went back, and I don't always go back and watch our shows, but I did go back and watch our show sometime this week, and you said something at the end, near the end of that video, in which we could say basically to anybody, hey, how you doing? Been thinking about you, hoping everything's okay, and the individual could respond, how did you know? Mm -hmm. And so that was circling in my mind, and um, at some point this week, uh, I listened to a clip from Clyde, and I think it was Sensitivity to Father, and he speaks of those times in which someone comes to your mind. You can be doing mundane activities, whatever, and then somebody comes to your mind and you think, I wonder what they're doing. Or uh, maybe you say a prayer right, right then, and then, I have been aware of those things going on in my life, life for the past decade where I just would suddenly think that most of the time I would, I'd have to be honest, it would be my wife or my children or my parents, someone, you know, in a really close, but occasionally it might be a school friend or a work friend or whoever, and I would think about them and then later consider why did I wonder where that came from? What was the thought mm -hmm. that brought their mind, them to mind? Um, in recent history, I would um, use my phone and I might text my oldest son and to say, hey, how you doing? Uh, you know, last week we talked and you had a tough week. How you doing? You know, hope everything worked out for you or whatever. So I thought about the fact that the I thought of them and then I wanted them to know that I was thinking of them, you know. 
maybe that could be helpful or whatever. And then do we have evidence in our, you know, I, I was trying to think of when I've reached out to somebody and they were going through, through things, you know, and, and I'm sure our audience has situations that would be similar. So it didn't take me long. I went, I went to scripture looking for the same type of, uh, things that might be happening. And then I started thinking of all of Paul's letters and how often we read in the beginning of Paul's letters at some point in there after he introduces himself, you know, severed for the evangel, mm -hmm. Paul, a slave of Jesus Christ, all of these things that he refers to himself as. Um, so I, I, I captured a few of these I wanted to share with you, and, and this would be Paul's sensitive, sensitivity to Father. In Philippians 1, uh, starting with verse 3, he says, I am thanking my God at every remembrance of you, always in every petition of mine for you all, making the petition with joy. So, so Paul, is ha he has this sensitivity, mm -hmm. and he's thinking, and he's sending a letter, and in the letter, he takes the time to write to them and say, uh, Colossians, let's see, I'm sorry, this is Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 1, 3. Unintermittently remembering your work of faith and toil of love and endurance of expectation of our Lord Jesus Christ in front of our God and Father. Uh, Colossians. It's interesting. These are all right around the third verse. One, three. Yeah. Uh, we are thanking the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, always praying concerning you on hearing of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints. And I'll wrap it up with Second Timothy. There are more. There are more than these I'm sharing, but uh, chapter one, verse three and four. Grateful am I to God to whom I am offering divine service from my ancestors with a clear conscience, as I have an unintermittent remembrance concerning you in my petition, night and day. So really cool examples of how Paul wanted people to know, you know, mm -hmm. I love you, I'm concerned for you, you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers, you know, we know in this day, these days, when, when this day, can you imagine the great excitement? We, you know, we talked yeah. about um, the letters um, of the Roman letters and how those had to be sort of snuck into uh, the church in Rome and that they would gather in a house mm -hmm. and someone would read these. And you just know that when you, you heard from Paul saying, oh, yeah. intermittently, I am thinking of you and lifting the petitions up for you. You just know that was such a right. balm to their spirit, you know. Um, and like I said, so so then thinking of it in those terms, then sometimes when we are remembering someone or whatever, you know, it, if you mm -hmm. can shoot them, shoot them. Yeah. You know, I think it would be great yeah. to pick somebody up like that. Um, I told Dean interesting enough coming over here I was listening to music thinking about this show thinking about this message and the, the queen song find me somebody to love and there's that line where all of them are going find me mm -hmm. somebody to love find me somebody and I'm like father's doing that all the time yeah he's finding me people to love all the time <clears throat> and we we can be that love you know, uh, Michael has had some tremendous uh, word studies this week on WhatsApp, and I, I've gotten up early, and that's been how I've started my day this week, and um, some of those have been so good. Uh, we, we we talked about the perfect love, yeah, the perfect love that casts out fear and doubt, and yeah, we appreciate all that. Work. Oh my gosh, all that work, Alicia and Sterling. Yeah, a lot of encouragement. Uh, many yeah. people who mm -hmm. will um, do that work with Michael so that he can present those daily, and they're hitting the mark. They're right. they're really feeding me, and I'm a, very appreciative of them. 
And so that that's all I had today, but that's what I was thinking, uh, Dino. I, I love it. I love the uh, the reminder um, to be encouraging, and especially and my thought as you're talking, I'm think I just keep what's hitting my mind is like, yeah, why why wouldn't this be uh, the pursuit? Why wouldn't we pursue love, mm -hmm. like we say? Um, and how you brought up, yeah, what was said in the show, or how we know that yeah. we're all going through things. Everyone out there, everyone that you come in contact with today or this week is going through circumstances that are troubling, that are upsetting. Mm -hmm. That is the lot of humankind. That's what we live in. Yeah. We're in this world of good and evil, and everyone's going through it. And so... And we put on a brave face oh, yeah. when we are going through it. Yeah. And it's almost as if we're hiding the fact that, man, right. I'm torn up. I know. You know, but just like Dean said, you could almost say that to anybody mm. you meet and they would oh, look at sure. you like. Yeah, you could break through that layer. How did you know? You break yeah. through a layer and someone, they would yeah. say without a doubt, yeah, how'd you know what I was going through? Right. So, because we're all going through something. Yeah. So why not when no one when when you see these truths in a new new way and it's exciting yeah why why not when people hit your mind or yeah. or when things yeah you, be you sensitive some, to that try to encourage act someone on it. Yeah. yeah try to encourage so why, somebody why not and, I mean it's great advice yeah uh, it lifts you up as well as well and yeah. um, I love it's it. a win win <laughs> I love yeah I love it when I see it uh, when you see that love being shared. Uh, because of the, yeah, this world we live in, uh, why not? Because we, we know the end. We know it's all going to work for the good. Mm -hmm. We know uh, you Romans brought up 8, you brought up earlier too the verse that uh, when Paul was talking for those about to be believing in oh, a different I way. We could, verse, oh, yeah. Yeah. What all a these, forecast, right? That that he's throwing out there. He is in agreement with Father. There are others about to be believing. Mm -hmm. I, I considered that a while back, and I was like, wow. Think about the conscious, conscientious thought that he has knowing Father's good work mm -hmm. and that there are those who are about to be believing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I like that. Yep. Everyone is about to be believing. <laughs> yeah, very good point. Yeah. Everyone is. We're so, all about to be believing. Yeah. And, um, mm. yeah. Everyone's going to believe at some point and come into this love. Yeah. You are too. We are too. You know, we're like we said before, we just feel like we're just, um, you know, I've just seen a little, just a real small little bit. Right. There's so much we haven't seen um, that we're not able to see yet, but it's all good. What's coming. It's all right. good. Right. Uh, so hopefully that encourages you as you go about your day and try to lift up other people. If you know some of these truths or and believe some of these things, yeah, try to lift somebody up. Mm -hmm. Not be in that constant struggle or battle. Or, right. or It's easy to get in thoughts that everyone's against you or something. Mm -hmm. And I just don't see it that way anymore whatsoever. No. Um, so yeah, try to remove His those father thoughts. father is for you who can be against you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Anyway, well, uh, yeah, I don't have any more to. Yep, that's that's all I had this week. Had this week, and uh, if anybody wants to reach out, feel free to do that. I thank Chris so much all the time. He's good about getting back to you on the comments. I let him do a lot of that, but I I do read them. And I'm very encouraged by all that, so I, I do thank you for all that. And anybody wants to reach out personally or whatever, I'll try to get in contact with you. That's the way I like to do it. So, um, all right, well. Y'all have a good week. We'll do it again next time. Love you all.